Fun fact about filming, you should really always adjust your camera a lot before you have a film because I tried to shoot them before and you just saw all of this and trust me, it ain't pretty. <music> Everybody. So it is finally the finale to season 9 of RuPaul's Drag Race and we just gotta talk about it right now. This video is a spoiler. If you haven't seen anything yet, just don't watch this at all. Although you probably figure out who won by now if you went on social media at all. And, ooh, people got opinions. I will say that right now. We're gonna talk about all that. So, grand finale. Top 4. Trinity Taylor. Peppermint. Sasha Galore. Shea Coulee, who's gonna win? Episode starts off with all of the returning queens coming back onto the stage, going all the way from James all the way to Alexis, and they all look fucking great. I will say that right now. Which in my mind too, I'm kind of thinking, why didn't half of y'all wear all these outfits during the show? You would have stayed maybe. As we learned in the reunion in the last episode, we found out that the top four queens had to lip sync against each other in a sudden death battle royale fight to the finish style lip syncing wise to find out who's going to be the crown victor of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. And I love that twist so much because, ooh, makes the finale a little more interesting to watch. And before we go into the lip syncs, you have all of, like the, you know, the testimonials and the one-on-ones with RuPaul. You have all of the celebrities saying hi to everybody. You have Laverne Cox saying hi to Peppermint, saying that she's a great beacon of hope and light and joy and power full of everything because she's fucking amazing for the entire trans community, which is important because, hey, trans people can do drag too. Fun fucking fact, by the way. Sasha Valore gets a message from Katy Perry saying that Katy Perry lives for her and adores her and that, that was it. It was like five seconds worth. That could have been that could have been a better, better testimonial. Just putting that out there. Shake Lee got a message from Black China because she played Black China in the whole Kardashian musical thing. And Black China was like, yo, you're great. And then Shay was like, yo, you have a nice car. And that was it. And Trini got a message from Bobby Moynihan from SNL, who I fucking love, because I fucking love SNL. Uh Dream goals. And she was actually referenced in a skit that they did a while back with Chris Pine where they were talking about drag race and like it was like people in like an auto shop and like they did like a whole drag race style lip sync against each other. But yeah, he gave her a shout out and said that you pageant bitches gotta stick together. No, we pageant bitches gotta stick together because he was a pageant queen in his little skit with Chris Pine and you know, she's a pageant queen because she says all the time and it just turned off so well. Most importantly though, we saw the return of Miss Wintergreen, and I will just say this right now, she better be on goddamn season 10. Now, the actual meat of the entire episode, because like literally the first half hour was like cute and everything, but like, come on. We were all waiting for this. The lip syncs. Oh my god. RuPaul brings out a whole Price is Right style wheel with all the queen's names on it. She spins it, it lands on Trinity Taylor, and Trinity seals her fate by deciding to lip sync against Peppermint. Oh, bitch. As we've seen this entire season, Peppermint's basically like the lip sync assassin of this season and she can fucking destroy anybody. And this was a fucking good lip sync between these two. The song was Stronger by Britney Spears. Trinity is killing it at first. She does a reveal which reveals her fucking tuck, which is fucking magical. Where does she put all that? In my mind, I'm thinking Trinity's gonna fucking win this, but then Peppermint pulls off her reveal and transforms from Super Bowl Janet Jackson into Nene Leakes, hair and outfit reveal, and like right at like, 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 the, like the point of like the song where it just like breaks free into a fucking just a joyous chorus of music, and oh god. Oh god, it was good. Peppermint ends up winning the lip sync, and Trinity goes home, and Trinity, I fucking love you. Uh, I was sad to see her go, I will say that right now. I was very sad to see her go, but she put up a great fucking fight, and you know what? She's gonna be fine after this, because bitches gonna be fucking, like, <laughs> booking her everywhere, so she'll be fine. So, you have Peppermint and Trinity. That meant you had Miss Sasha and Shay, Team RuPaul's Best Friends Race, go against each other in the next lip sync. My emotions were everywhere for this lip sync, which is perfect because the song for this one was so emotional by Whitney Houston. It's Britney and Whitney. A great pride celebration. Sasha and Shay come out. Sasha at one point. Shay at the other point. 
Shay is looking all good. She's wearing this like whole like black looking like Rihanna kind of outfit. And then Sasha is wearing like this like questionable red, red, you know, wig with like, you know, a 70s style looking dress and a rose that she's been holding, holding, uh, holding on since like the whole spinning of the wheel, which I really didn't know what was going to happen until the lip sync began. They go at it. Sasha is pulling out the rattles of the rose. Shay is dancing along and doing her thing and doing fucking like lip jabs and everything and just doing amazing. And then Sasha does her reveal because everybody has a fucking reveal for this except Shay for some reason, which you should have had one boo. You should have. Sasha doesn't do an outfit reveal that much. She instead fucking pulls off her gloves and her wig and rose petals fucking come out of every single orifice. That's fucking art. Sasha ends up winning, Shay loses, I'm losing every sense of my emotions, and we have the final two, Sasha and Peppermint. They end up lip-syncing to Whitney Houston's because she's the fucking, the perfect, the best person to fucking do for this. I will just say it right now, I love Whitney, so I'm glad that they're doing everything for her. But they lip-sync to It's Not Right But It's Okay, which I fucking love that song, so. <sighs> they come out in their final looks for the entire show. Two different outfits from what they were originally lip syncing in. They look like two fucking like Final Fantasy bosses going against each other. And Peppermint's like this like big old purpley feathery bird-like creature. I don't know. And then Sasha's coming up in a fucking mask. Girl, we saw what happened last time when someone tried to lip sync with a mask. I'm not even sorry. She knew what she did. But she does a fucking mask reveal because that's what you fucking do with a mask. Still better about that. The lip sync begins. Sasha does her entire like skull splitting mask reveal. The song is going everywhere. Peppermint threw some kind of glitter up in the air. It's like, it's literally like head to toe the entire time. And like, you're not seeing any kind of like splits or like tricks or flips from bullshit from either one of them. They're just putting on this emotionally charged fucking lip sync and my heart was beating so fucking fast. The people in the audience are gagging the entire time. Like, you had the like, stars. I was like, Nika Tortorella, you had Joey Graceffa, you had Grace Helbig, and Mary Hart up in there, who I love, like, the last two I just said are up in there. And you know what? If those three YouTubers can make it, so can I. Goals for next year. The two stop their lip sync. It ends. It's done. Ah. The crowd is quiet. RuPaul and her fucking 10 foot high stature-esque self comes up on the stage while the drag queen brings out the scepter and the crown and it's revealed that Sasha Valor is the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. <laughs> I'm, I'm personally happy with that. I thought that was a good choice. Now here's the thing. I have read a lot of the comments in you know different like, YouTube videos about people disagreeing with this and on Twitter and everything but at the end of the day, it's a competition, and you're not gonna be happy with the outcome at all. Do I believe that Trinity and Shay should have been in the top two as well? Absolutely, they all had a great chance of winning. But Sasha ended up winning, and I am not so disappointed with that. I read somewhere also that people were disappointed that it was a lip syncing challenge the entire finale, and they didn't really take into account of all of the wins from the season. In my mind, this is like what I'm thinking, and I'm like, you can like feel free to disagree with me or agree with me or whatever, this is my own opinion, and it's not backed up by any fucking like science or anything, so don't come out with that. Um, I thought that like, with like all the wins that they got in the season, that's what kind of like, qualified them to make it into the top four this time around. And then the lip syncing itself with the challenge kind of helped them embody the whole charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent that is required to win the entire show. Because when you think about it, the charisma is obviously your stage presence, your uniqueness is what you're bringing to the stage that's different than everybody else, your nerve is your ability to push the limits, and talent is, well, are you talented or not? Am I happy with the outcome? Absolutely. I love Sasha. Could I think it was, it could have been Shay or Trinity or Peppermint? Absolutely too. But at the end of the day, like, I can fucking say that those three who did not end up winning, they better be fucking on All Stars 3. Or just have them be, like, you know, your top three, top four. If they do a top four, again, for All Stars, which they fucking better, put Trixie up in there. Yeah. Trixie, Peppermint, Trinity, Shay. Top four All Stars 3. You're welcome. Now I gotta ask, what did all y'all think about this episode? I am personally... 
I loved it. I thought honestly this was like one of the, like, the best finales we've had. You put on a show, you saw the queens from the past, didn't really interact with each other, but that was all in the reunion. And it, I hope that like they keep the slip syncing routine set up for all the other seasons from the future from now on because it was fucking good TV, man. It was fucking good TV. Do you agree with who won? Do you think that Shay or Trinity or Peppermint should have won? Do you think anybody from the past should have won? I don't know, some of y'all have an opinion about that. What do you think about the lip syncs? What do you think about the outfit reveals? What do you think about just everything about the show in general? I thought this was a great season. And I'll say that right now. Better than season seven or eight. Well, that is it for my RuPaul Drag Race season nine recap series in a way and I am so thankful for everybody who's stuck aboard of this fucking how mess express that I call my YouTube channel and I'm still gonna be making more videos after this not gonna be recaps or anything drag related because I, uh, I'm not a fucking expert on that let's be honest here if you want to see more videos from me in the future please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and comment as well and hit that little notification button too and I will see you all next time. Make good choices. Make interesting choices. Make choices that affect you and not me because it's your life and not mine. And I'll see y'all <laughs> next time.